So I'll talk about rehabilitation events aimed at improving the function of uh, rectum uh, and patient diagnosed with rectal cancer. So we're talking about a whole range of rehabilitation measures uh, for patients after s rectal surgery. And uh, we'll talk about the grounds for such uh, proceedings. One of the components for integrated treatment is uh, surgical uh, treatment. This is complete or partial resection. It can be combined with radiotherapy and medication treatment. Richard Hill formulated the main principles of uh, operative uh, methods where optimization implies total mesorectomy and nerve-saving operations. And the same way the radical nature of resectomy is the basis of individual prognosis and the use of neuropreserving operation technique allows to reduce the level of urinary disorders in rectal cancer. Now, uh, sphincter preserving interventions uh, can take is possible in 90% of patients who have uh, rectal cancer. The same way as to recent data, uh, studies have shown that from 25 to 90% of patients who went through such uh, interventions suffer from the so-called syndrome of uh, anterior resection, such as imperative urges to defecation, anal uh, continence, and uh, in their turn, it uh, aggravates the quality of life of patient elements of defecation depend on ventral function or valve function, uh, which is associated with puber, rectal muscle, nature of the stool, volume of the rectum, that is uh, the total size and elasticity of rectum, as, and uh, from neurological sensitivity and neuromotor function. The processes resulting in structural and functional disorders at each step can be the cause of uh, incontinence uh, of fecus. Some words about anatomy, and so the process is taking place in, in structural defects influence any of these components, uh, which can result in fecal incontinence. Innovation, which is provided by sympathetic nerves, this is hypogastral uh, gast gastric plexus and superior mesenteric plexus, then it spreads to the periphery, uh, to the organs that perform these functions. The function is retention of peristalsis of sigmoid and rectal uh, and uh, and relaxation of the truth and reduction of sphincter of urinal bladder. Merge of sympathetic and parasympathetic system takes place in pelvic plexus where which innovates um, urinary organs. Uh, 
parasympathetic innovation is provided by sacral plexus and uh, and intrapelvic nerves function excision of peristalsis of sigmoid uh, gut and rectal as well as relaxation of uh, the uh, trusa and uh, sphincter of uh, so the main part of irritation belongs to internal anal sphincter. This intraanal sphincter is innervated by sympathetic and parasympathetic fibers and is responsible for 80% of the retention of uh, uh, the content of the cuts. Then there is external anal sphincter, which starts innovation from sympathetic fibers and is responsible for 20-30% of the retention of uh, the gut content. Puberectal muscle or uh, it creates an erectile angle and extends rectus to the coccygeal part. Then, uh, this coccygeal muscle opens anal uh, sphincter and maintains optimal abdominal pressure. Due to this complex anatomophysiological system, the function of retention of uh, the gut content So, the process resulting in structural disorders can become the cause for fecal incontinence, disorder of the function of internal anal sphincter, and uh, incontinence of gut content uh, takes place when there is no conscientious control, dysfunction of external sphincter retention when rectum is uh, filled, which is manifested uh, by disorders of sensitivity, discordation between external and internal anal sphincter, damages of vegetative nerve retention of urination, at anal incontinence, uh, uh, we see changes of social activities and uh, because the adequate mechanism of defecation and urination provides a necessary quality of life for patient. One of the major aspects of the assessment of efficacy treatment is restoration of both physical health and social adaptation. Medical rehabilitation is an event and aimed uh, compensation and restoration of the disrupted or lost uh, psychic and physiological functions. So, creation of. So, at the stages of treatment of rectus, they first excise the tumor with the creation of preventive iliostoma. Assessment of rehabilitation events at the stage of treatment of rectal cancer has to 
be on the stage of treatment after surgery in the volume of anterior resection of rectus at the stage of new adjuvant chemo uh, and radiotherapy and before restoration of uh, rectal sphincter and after restoration of uh, rectal sphincter. Bef so we have to provide, uh, well, we have to assess the function of anal uh, sphincter because there might be complaints uh, for anal incontinence, absence of defecation urges, uh, uh, spontaneous defecations, uh, there can be a loss of rectal anal inhibiting reflex. We assess the function of anal sphincter before restoration of continuity of rectum with sphinctometry. The method of functional assessment of sphincter and pelvic floor, which is a screening method, we assess the tone at rest, uh, contractile capacity of sphincter and endurance. Uh, the results. Uh, uh, give us numeric indicators. Basing on them, we evaluate the degree of sphincter insufficiency. Rehabilitation measures imply uh, the, the opportunity of restoration of the condition of nervous muscular system. Conservative treatment is aimed at strengthening contractile capacity of anal sphincter, improvement of reflector system, providing normal functional activity of uh, rectal system. Medication treatment helps to improve conductivity of receptors and stimulate uh, nervous muscular synapses. The goals of medication therapy is to improve conductivity of axons, morphological maturation, and function. Medications improve myelinization and conductivity. The uh, vitamin B group improves Improving conductivity, pentagram, contact, cortexin, phenotropyl, medicam, sirdalut, uh, regeneration of muscle fibers. Uh, uh, such medications are phosphobion and vitamin E. Both uh, or biofeedback therapy aimed at self-regulation of uh, uh, and development of proper uh, sensations and feeling, uh, providing better control over the function. Uh, the method is divided into uh, forced and coordination, functional burden, improvement of functional sphincter, and improvement of, uh, and of a mechanism of coordination. Neuromodulation improves uh, impact of uh, impact on pelvic uh, plexus by neurostimulation of uh, uh, femoral nerve by stimulating vegetative uh, neurons. The method improves the tone, contractibility, nervous and reflexes of uh, the rectus, rectum. The uh, the course of biofact therapy ranges from 10 to 14 procedures. TBL neuromodulation from 10 to 14 procedures. The procedure takes place daily. Patients are given complex of physical exercises aimed at uh, uh, exercising and training anal sphincter developed by Dohanov and Kegel. Uh, five sessions per day, the duration of a session up to 15 minutes. The cycle of therapy is from three to eight days. Diet, diet has to be aimed at him. Uh, increase of uh, fiber consumption until normal consistency of stool. We administer radiation therapy, anti diarrhea uh, medications, and uh, clinical case. 
diagnosis. Patient uh, with a low ampulla part of rectum C1 uh, 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 and uh, zero combined treatment since April 2018. In April, from April until June 2018, the course of chemo radiotherapy was prolonged. Then, since September up till October, three cycles of new adjuvant therapy, full FOX system, and the paroscopic uh, anterior resection of rectum with uh, a preventive uh, uh, stoma. But the colonoscopy, the distance of two centimeters, uh, uh, shows sigma rectanostomosis, which is. Uh, an unfavorable factor influencing the development of uh, uh, interior anterior resection. Synchrometry was performed, and uh, we saw insufficiency of anal sphincter of the second degree. Since May until April, rehabilitation uh, procedures were administered, medication treatment, cytokaline, cortex, and pentagon. Uh, biofeedback therapy was conducted and tibial neuromodulation, 10 sessions, as well as Duhana physical exercises performed at home by patient. After a month from treatment with comprehensive symptometry, the condition uh, showed insufficiency of the first degree for anal sphincter. After treatment, there was a surgery. Uh, ileostoma was removed. After surgery, there were complaints on uh, frequent uh, defecation 10 times a day, gases, uh, although uh, fecal defecation was not, uh, incontinence was not registered, but the presence of diarrhea uh, changing past two or three times a day uh, treatment. Anti-diarrhea medications diet, uh, uh, enema um, uh, by gastroenterologist, they assess the degree of incontinence uh, based on vaccine EYZ scales. After that, in a month after surgery, there were 10 procedures of bioeffect, therapy in tibial neuromodulation, who registered reduction of uh, uh, scores based on uh, nervosity, degree of assessment of incontinence. Uh, there was insufficiency of anal sphincter of the first degree. We observe the increase of the sufficiency of anal sphincters. Thank you.